it is ten or tip too deep. And today, uh, we get one of the one of the requests, one of the questions we get asked more. Hey, what is the best first strike with that cane? We're going to take a look at that. But before we do that, as always, a warm welcome to those of you um, who have been following us, long life followers of the Cane Fist Way, but also those of you who are here for the first time. If you've looked at some of our other material and you like what you see, always remind you, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you don't miss any future content. Do that early now in 2022. And please avail yourself of the no cost resource that is that Cane Clarity Call. That way we can jump on a, on a phone call in less than 24 hours when you request it, support will schedule you and we're gonna listen to where you are right now. What is it that attracts you about the cane, right? Is it the self-protection? Is it better movement? What is it? And let's work out a plan and, and everything from how to select your first cane or your next cane and how you can get trained right in the comfort and safety of wherever you reside in the world. So what is the first best strike you find yourself in danger or an altercation is brewing? And I'm always of what I, what the, the message I always put out is that whenever you can avoid a situation, then do so. The best form of self-protection would ideally involve zero body contact if possible, whether you have the tool or not. And so if, you know, I always talk about mental, verbal, and physical uh, components, and that's, that's what we're looking at, right? Because that's what you're asking. What's the best first um, strike? Well, that's going to depend on a couple of things. The first thing it's going to depend on is the nature of that uh, assault or that attack. And it's also distance is going to come into play, right? So if I have the luxury, now I'm going to switch the ACB cane for a drone for my partner's sake. And he's... Uh, you know, he's coming over here and I get to, this is starting to brew. And we always talk about uh, how we, we get into this passive ready um, position. ACSD, we don't really have anything that looks like, I'm not knocking it, but we don't have anything that looks like we, we're gonna spring into action. Uh, a, a very simple, hey, listen, it, the cane's gotta be up here because I don't trust myself to be fast enough to be able to deal with him. Hmm? I'm always assuming he's uh, faster than I am, stronger than I am, bigger than I am. And so we're dealing here and uh, I can see this coming. Then the, 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 you have options here. I am also not uh, the one that, that, that you know, would tell you, hey, you know, go for the head. And there's, there's several reasons for that, not just the legal ramifications, which obviously you're held responsible for, but just the, the mere fact that this is well within, um, you know, he's not, a, he's not a zombie, he's got reflexes, I pointed this out, and so if I do something like this, he puts his hands up, but not only that, he can also grab at this, right? And so I'm coming in and there he goes, I'm going to the midline or uh, doing something that he can see. I'd rather go to the shots he can't not see. So let's look at some of the, the variations uh, to this. The tool gives you some reach. And let's see, can we, can we put that so that we can look down? Yeah, 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 keep going a little bit. Yeah, stop right there. So, so that if I'm here, I say, hey, listen, man, I don't want, from here, I should be able to, and I want you to lunge in quick, quick. Yeah, I should be able to get out of there with a good, you know, no, stop, right, get away. It's the first strike. That first strike to the shin is <clears throat> designed to incapacitate. Notice that even though I have reach with the tool, I still have, I keep my principles of the cover hand coming up just in case, just in case, because I'm human, I make mistakes. Hey, listen, here it is. Now, I'm either gonna get out of here or follow that up, but we're talking about that first uh, best strike. You saw me do this a couple times. We have the ACB, uh, that, that comes straight from your cane box and your jabs, but again, but again, he has reflexes. And just from here to do, there is a time and a place for that, Shortest distance between two points is a straight line. This is not something that in, in necessarily is going to incapacitate like this might, right? So if I see that from his midline, look at my midline, I open up and I'm cocking back here and I just need to get out of the situation. Sure, sure I'll swing and, and get out, 
Absolutely. I can do it there, but I can also do it uh, below when he comes in. Boom. I can be first and get out. Notice that it's everything down here. Very difficult to stop those shots. The other thing to consider is the dynamics, right? For your first, that first shot, the dynamics of distance, right? And what his um, intent and what his motive is all about. Um, if I'm dealing with him up front here, we're close quarters and, and he threw a shot and I did this and I covered and I went here and, and that knocked him out. But now I see that he's reaching for, I don't want that to materialize. He already made it known that, you know, once I did this, you know, we're fighting and now he's going, I'm going to go ahead and strike. Did you see how I come from here and had that switch? So for those of you, by the way, the footwork for those of you that follow ACC, that's a step and drag. That's, that's what we're doing. And I, I came in here, he went, I'm leaving in that direction rather than going with a reverse grip, which I could, I could boom, switch that up and I'm out. Notice that I'm moving, I'm headed for the exit. I don't want to stick around. If I have to deal against a knife, right, the best distance is always, or the best um, defense against that, the best strategy is always going to be distance. So notice that as I do that and create, so that I can bolt and get out of here. That might be, that might dictate the, the best first strike as well. It's very different. It might, might, it could be different when I'm dealing with him here, right? And I see that coming. I have the luxury of seeing that coming, right? Because a lot of times he can hold that tool in his hand. I don't even know that he has it on him. But remember what I always say, take out the limb and you win. If I take out that attacking limb that he has, it, even if it's just from here, back off, that strong shot, power shot, not with a drone, but with a raven cane, right? Metal, wood, something that's hard wood as well, that's designed to destroy bone. At no time have I demonstrated a shot to the head. Is there, and if so, when would be the appropriate time to do that? I'll give you one example. Okay, one example. He's turned around and he has a gun pointed at my loved ones or anybody, and I'm coming from back here. Right? So like law enforcement, they can't afford to take a shot that they're not going to miss. Usually the shot in this situation is gonna come from here. Right? Law enforcement gets paid to stop threats. Here, they very well warranted to disconnect the computer. Because if you disconnect the computer, then the body follows. So in essence, the best strike is going to be dictated by who? What, what's going to determine? Your opponent. Criminal intent, the, the criminal motive, the nature of the attack, which also has a component of distance tied in. Does that make sense? And so I want to take the time. These are you know, the basics of this, of how to do that. Even, even these things that I'm doing, you pick it up and you say, oh, it's just a power shot here, just a power. If you've never done this before, uh, there's a very definite method uh, to this. There is a step-by-step -step way that you learn these concepts. And before you do anything, go ahead and request the call. Just text the letter CCC to 305-745. 7839. And again, in less than 24 hours, we'll be on the phone with you and answering all your questions. But there is a step by step format. I've been encouraging you to do this if you're new. Don't try to do it by watching, you know, video. This is showing you potential. This is giving you the idea. Uh, but, but it's all about having that blueprint, that curriculum, and then the set of trained eyes giving you the support, the feedback, the accountability that you're going to need to make your training real. Okay, so um, I hope that is of value to you. Thank you always for watching. Keep caning and stay safe.